I'm right. We are here assembled to pay a lasting tribute of respect to our departed comrade. When the call of our country was heard, comrade Robert Welch answered. Self was forgotten in the cause of the greater good. As a brave man, he marched away with an abiding faith in his God, his country, and his flag. The red of our country's flag was made redder still by his heroism, the white more stainlessly pure by the motives which impelled him and in the starry field of our nation's glorious banner, the blue has been glorified by the service he has given for American ideals. Comrade Chaplain. We come today to honor the memory of one who offered his life <coughs> as a service to our nation's cause <coughs> and our God. Proudly we remember his service. Because of men and women like our comrade, we live in a land of freedom, peace, and justice. May our ceremonies today deepen our reverence to our honored comrades and friends. We believe that our comrade is now in the hands of our Heavenly Father, the <coughs> Supreme Commander. And judge of all, we lay our comrade's body to rest. Let us cherish his virtues and learn to imitate them. Let each of us be loyal and faithful to our remaining missions in life, that we too be able to join in that grand fraternity which is on earth and in heaven and remain under Amen. One by one, as the years roll on, we are called upon to fulfill these sad duties of respect to our departed comrades. The present, full of the cares and beset all nations, whether engaged in war or peace, fades away as we look back upon the day this comrade left his home to defend his country. Imbued by a spirit of devotion, and inspired by an un undying love of his native land, he gladly went forth and joined with comrades both young and old to preserve our heritage of freedom. We trust that the example set by our comrade will prove, will prove a glorious beacon to the youth of our country who may be called upon to honor our flag. As the years roll on, we too shall have finished our fight, shall be laid to rest, and our souls follow the long column to the realms above, as an all enfolding death, hour by hour, shall mark his recruits. Comrade, let us so live that when the keeper of the eternal record shall have called our names for the last time, those we leave behind may say of us, as we say now of this comrade, here lies all that is mortal of a true-hearted comrade and the fearless defender of his country and flag. Officers, you will now join, you will, you will now perform the last duties of your station. Junior Vice Commander. <clears throat> On behalf of Yangley Wrigley Post 7472, the veterans of foreign wars of the United States, I present this green tribute as a symbol of our undying love for our comrade. Senior Vice Commander. Place these white flowers as a symbol of purity upon this casket, and may each future generation emulate the unselfish devotion to duty, even to the last of our comrades. Officer of the day.
we place this wreath as the last token of affection from its comrades in arms upon the casket of the departed comrade and crown his moral, mortal dust with the symbol of our victory. On behalf of our glorious republic, <laughs> for whose integrity our comrade of the veterans of foreign wars and listen and serve, we place upon this casket the emblem of our country, a country whose arms are always open to, to shelter the oppressed. God, Father of us all, we here extend these final earthly tributes to our beloved comrade and accept our prayers in behalf of the soul of thy servant departed. Welcome into the house of rest of peace. Look with mercy upon the loved ones bereaved by his passing. Comfort and console them through thine own tenderness. These things we ask humbly in thy name. Praise there. Oh. Thank you. 